Hello, I'm Elias, a PhD student at Iridia, the Artificial Intelligence Lab at Université Libre Bruxelles, and today I'll present you our recent work about how we automatically generate control software for robots farm only using demonstration. Let's take this mission for example. We have 20 hip hop robots scattered in the air experimental arena and we wish them to aggregate on the black region. To automatically design the control software for the robot, we need to specify this behavior. But how can we do it? Traditional automatic design methods like chocolate and Everstick rely on a mathematical formulation of the mission specification, and they require that the end user define an objective function that will be optimized during the design process. In our example, the objective function is the number of robots that aggregate on the black region at every time. Although this objective function can be formulated by skilled experts, one shouldn't expect that the end user would be able to express its desire with a mathematical formulation. This is our motivation for developing DemoJo. Instead of formulating an objective function by hand, we provide demonstrations of the desired behavior and let DemoShow infer an objective function to generate the control software of the robots. DemoShow is a combination of automatic modular design and inverse reinforcement learning. Let me show how it works. I will use DemoShow to address our aggregation mission. First, we will build the mission setup. We build an arena and simulation with a white and a black region and a light so that the robot can perceive. Then, we provide DemoShow with demonstrations of the desired behavior. As we said, we want the robot to aggregate on the black region. So, we demonstrate the desired behavior by placing the robot on that region. And voila, DemoShow can already produce the control software for the robots by using an interactive optimization process. Only on the basis of the demonstrations, DemoShow is able to produce appropriate control software that perform the missions as specified by the demonstrations. In our research, we experiment on three additional missions that we have taken from the literature. The swarms designed by DemoCho behave in a meaningful way and achieve similar performance as those designed by Chocolate and Everstick, despite that DemoCho didn't have access to the objective function during the design process. So far, our results show that inverse reinforcement learning can be adopted in the framework of automatic design of robot swarms. In the future, we will investigate the impact of the number and the diversity of the demonstrations on the behavior that can be obtained.